No, so we'll just go Ted. And the run into turn one. Ted looks like he's still up there. Nice and clean, everybody through. Three, four wide contact for the Williams. And Husky, someone's round. Tease is gone. It might have been that back end, but I might also have been contact. And Husky taking quite a different line there, but uh, it's Fat Ted leading. As we go into uh, second two, Josh already right behind him. We'll have to make it up a couple of positions. Can we position change? Josh has made the move onto the hairpin. He's already up two positions. Danny D down a few. Josh has the tail line, but he does concede. Well, we've got a nice view of this battle there. There might have been a little bit of contact between the two. Down ball with Lofty. Now on this far pit. Far for the lead. Try to get to decent traction from here on the hearts. Still side by side. Jumps up to this line. Makes it through. Just holding on to that second place. And somebody's off. Danny D is on it. Bit of an incident, dropping all the way down side for two. Twelve. Oh, he got damage. Very slow. He's got damage or not, but he's very slow through the asses. Danny D is just all over the place. Josh has put out a bit of decent lead in front over a second, broken with the RS. Made a move by the looks of things into uh, into, the, into the corner. Ted's picked up a penalty, that's twice he's cut that same corner. But Lofty does move up into P2, he needs to make them soft work. Three places already. Turn one. And mediums, Maxwell. He's overshot it. Maxwell getting through, but he is on them soft. So he does need to try and make some form of uh, some form of advantage. Oh, that's a nice shot. Rosary's picked up a penalty as well. Danny D's in the pits. Oh, just leaving the pit. I'm not sure if that was for a nose change or not. Um, JPP half second halo. Not making the print. The hard dancing around the outside. Just keep it ahead of uh, Rosary as well. So JPP. It's four tenths. Oh, Rosary, Chicken Rosary's having a bit of a... He's having a bit of a fight back. A couple of tenths behind then. So it's uh, Josh out in front. Let's get the, uh, the ties up again. So Josh 
making use of the mediums. Lofty as well, up a couple of places, making use of the uh, the softs. Otto and Tether looking in a decent position on the hards as well, though. So, um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how, how far Lofty goes into the race on the um, on the softs. He's not really pulling away from Otto. He's just hanging on within that DRS range. Tiny Dean not having a great race. Not a great start. Hoping for, hoping for some sort of safety car. And Otter makes a move on to Lofty, uh, past Lofty. Ted's right behind Lofty now. Surely the soft tongs aren't being affected this early in the race on lap four. Everybody knows a bit. We've got second, third, fourth, fifth in a bit of a DRS train. Moly. Up a few places, I think it's to P9. And then there's another train from Halo then. Back down all the way to uh, to Stars Orphan. So a couple of a couple of trains. People will be looking to uh, to just stay within the, the one second of the car ahead. Just maybe just saving a bit of ERS. Going to look at the back, losing quite a bit of time. They've lost like three or four seconds to the uh, to the packs ahead. So I'm not sure if T's is just struggling with rear grip, but someone's gone off. It's Ted. Oh, there's Ted and Lofty. They've both gone off. Oh, don't tell me someone's tried to make a move. Someone's clipped the rear end of somebody else. And that has just ruined Lofty's, well, potentially ruined Lofty's race on the soft tyres. Hicklin, Mr. Hards, making the hard work against uh, one of the top runner. Maybe Maxwell just hasn't got the straight line speed. Losing a couple of places there. I'm that much of a noob, I don't even know what the turn is. So. Starting to open up at the front. So, Bad Otters, I mean, he's not losing. A few other drivers there picking up penalties. Ted's in a pit, he must have got. Ted got damage. We'll see if there's a nose change. There is a nose change, so it looks like Ted may have caught the uh, the back of, of Lofty then. Uh, I'm sure that'll be in with the stewards. There was contact, but uh, yeah, Josh. Four seconds ahead of Otter. Moly. In quite a lot of positions, like I say, I think stop in P9. So we'll be happy with the start. Uh, we don't miss the clock. We've got the same call there. Anybody in the DRS? Maybe Chicken Rosary? Bit too far, but my own half second. It's going to be a bit of a dive going into there. But everybody keeping it relatively clean. Easy for all the DRS though. I'm going to switch back. Oh no, we're we'll still losing the back end this time. Danny D getting past Ted. It's 
Somebody else is off. Is he lofty again? Oh, has he got not the damage on him, maybe? There's no damage not at the wall. Doesn't look like it, but maybe the softs have gone. Yep, he dips into the pits. It'll be interesting to see if he goes. Oh! Husky losing the back end again. So Maxwell's into the pits. Lofty's coming in. Ted's picking up penalties. So he's going to go maybe medium, medium. I'd say. All being that there's no way. Uh, there's no safety cars. For, or even a VSC for a cheap stop. Someone's gone off. Is it Hicklin? Didn't quite catch that. So. This is the closest battle. Somebody's off again. It's Husky again. Really struggling to uh, to keep the car facing in a straight line. Yeah, he's really struggling with something. I don't know if the tyres have just overheated after a couple of moments or, or what, but we'll jump back on board with Stars. Is it Stars or Wolfen? JPP. Which is pretty much the closest battle unless Ted can get Danny D down here. So it's a hit and it's a pit on the mediums. Oh, it's only on the hards. It's a pick-up damage. There is a, there's no front wing, so it's an early stop for a mid for a hard. To take off the hard, sorry. It's a really early stop for a hard runner. So maybe Hicklin's looking to go medium, medium. Or just above it. Just ahead of Ted. Oh, no, he doesn't. Ted gets him on the outside of turn one. And now he's just going to just try and stay with the, with Ted and Danny D. Don't make contact. Oh, dear. Just as I want to say, don't make contact. They've gone into the back of each other or the side of each other. So there was a hint of tie contact just as I uh, turned away or just as it oh speeding under the safety car how do you tell have you managed that dog oh also heckling saying that he did get damage he didn't change the wing Mate, it's the worst, the worst design on this game. If you pit, if you've got wind damage and you pit, it should be the option to say no, you don't want to change the, the wing, rather than yes, I do want to change. Because the amount of times I've um, I put the damage, I put to uh, pit, change the wing, and it's just not pit change, and it's just then ruined the race as if it wasn't ruined enough. Um, yeah, for me it should be the other way around. But, um, yeah, I mean, if you've got wing damage, I, I, I don't know why you'd be going toe to toe then with with Danny D. You maybe you should just let him go. But I wasn't on board. I didn't really see how close it was. So I can't really comment too much. But uh, yeah, so bad otters had a, had a bit of a free stop. So is everyone else pitting? Maxwell, not pitted, he's on fresh medium, so... Josh really... He's really going to lose out here. Eight lap all medium, so you're looking ten lap all by the time they restart, maybe. Um, Molly and Halo may, may have to pit again. Just thinking if... Uh, they may, they may, they may just get away with. They may just get away with the hards to the end, depending on if there's anything else going on. Safety car, VSC wise, it's going to be close, I think. You know, they might even 
want to go hard until maybe six laps to the end and then strap on a set of softs. And there's some overtaking going on for some, some reason, I'm not sure why. There's people who are overtaking under the safety car. Gives, uh, gives Lofty and Tees and Husky a bit of a chance to to get back in the mix in the pack. And someone's... Josh has been disqualified for ignoring yellow flags. What on earth has happened there? He's ignoring yellow flags. So from the lead of the race, Josh is, I'm not sure if he's overtaken the safety car going into the pits and they've, they've disqualified him for that maybe. I, I can't think of anything else. Oh, he's gonna be fuming. Absolutely fuming. I can't think of anything else. He must have overtaken the safety car going into the pits and disqualified him. It's the only thing I can think of. Because it is a shorter pit entry. You do, you do take the corner for the, uh, the pits before the, um, before the actual final, cor uh, final corner. So... Oh, we're down to 11 runners. Everyone strapping on pretty much. New tyres, apart from Fat Ted and Maxwell, who were on a couple of laps older, lap older. All the tyres, I mean, it definitely helps Ted out in bringing him back into the pack. So. Oh, so, the, oh, right, so Sem's saying that you only have to be ahead for three seconds and it disqualifies you. I mean, it's silly, but then, you know, Josh really wasn't going to... He was going to come out ahead of Lofty anyway. He wasn't really going to lose that... Well, what, whether he went in ahead of the safety car or not and he gave it a couple more seconds, it wouldn't have affected where he was going to come out. So, I, Yeah, maybe it was a bit... A bit silly. But even so, three seconds is... Yeah, it's not ideal, is it? But uh, it's going to be bad off to them to lead them away. New mediums. We're looking to, uh, to make some sort of gap to a couple of hard runners behind before the likes of Chicken Rosary and Maxwell can look to uh, attempt to, to get ahead. And he's left it late. Coming off that final corner, but, but there's a few. Ted gone round. Ted in the pit. Is that for a wing change? But why is it in the pits again? They're going for another set of mediums. They're not even going to make it to the end, so... No wing change. Change into mediums. It's a... Uh, a bit of a bizarre one. But it is Otter that still leads. Molly and Halo coming through second and third. No DRS this lap. So is anyone prepared to win the DRS? Up to down to 65, he's really... Into Moly's saving. Halo. Use the DRS. Oh, and Rosary's at uh, Moly's saving. Moly's being a bit more conservative with the DRS. Chicken will be looking to get past Halo ASAP and try and go after Bad Otter. I'll assume on the uh, on the quicker tyres. Round now to 19, I believe. Oh, and uh, Tease has gone wide. 
Lofty, if Lofty can keep those ties intact. Stay with the pack, keep the ties intact. You might, uh, you might just pull off some, uh, some, some good points. Maxwell into turn one. Lofty's penalty free as well, so I just got to keep his nose clean. Chicken uh, Rosary will be looking to uh, to make a, a move. I'm sure on Halo. And they went down to uh, and they went down to turn 12. holding each other up or if he is I think he's managing to uh, to pull back for some time I mean 25 seconds is well it is let's stop him not to work that back up huh? the whole while that uh, chicken motor is behind the halo bad otter is getting away 2.7 seconds ahead Going on in the background. Also, <laughs> having a look around turn two. Chicken, I missed a move on chicken there uh, by chicken rosary. Oh, I might just be close enough to. Uh, Oh, Chicken Rosary's picking up time penalties. He's, he's low on EOS, flashing away, and he's lost the back end. That's not going to help. So, Halo could have a really good run down this way. Well. No, no, we'll just put our own. JPP. Oh, that looked a very, a very big campaign for them. Oh, again from JP, just got a couple of different trains. You've got the front four, and then oh, you got JPP leading the second train. But that did look a bit of a, a bit of a corner cut by Chicken Rosary. Then going through twelve to, to stay ahead of Halo, and Halo picks up a time penalty. Ted is. I mean, Ted really is catching the pack. I mean, it's 20 seconds now. I mean, what was that in the space of a lap or two? Closed on five seconds. I mean, just maybe just keeping it clean, just running his own race, and then maybe looking to strap a set of softs on towards the end to really have a late push. But 
you know, 20 seconds is a, is a big gap, so. And he moves into turn one. Lofty on Maxwell. Molly now on the back of Halo. And the uh and what is to the lead of the hard runners. And Lofty just when we're thinking his nose clean. Goes and picks up a penalty as well, so what do we have? Six, so we have more than half the grid with time penalties that will be applied after the race. And we're just sitting behind Halo, maybe just maybe just looking to save his battery. You know. Halo is flashing away, is only on 10%. Chicken Rosary isn't getting far ahead. Uh, too far ahead, sorry. On minimal battery as well, so... The Moly just needs to buy, buy this time. The hards will come. Will come to him over the mediums. Right up to four, just over four seconds up the road. Locked it right on the back, the star's open. He's gonna, he's gonna go for a move into the, uh, to the final corner, but should get the RS in the air. He's already ahead of the lead across the start finish line. Locked in now with a little bit of clear air. Husky all over. Husky and T's cut have been inseparable. This race. Maxwell. So that's Maxwell now on mediums to the end. So if Max can Max again can you know not get any time penalties. And, uh, we'll be looking close towards the end of the race. And that's Halo on uh, the rotary. Of, uh, in the battle of Carito. I don't like the OS. I don't know if Molly's just struggling to really make any inroads or find him this time. I mean, he's not really using any OS. Make a move on, on Chicken, but someone's gone round, and it's a VSC, and it's Huskies hit the hit entry. Okay. Just gone a bit too hot into the uh, a bit too hot into there, and the way he's driving, it fucking might be might be retiring. But back Ted, if he can go, if he's got another fresh set of fresh mediums. This is going to help him out. And there is mediums going on. And they they aren't fresh. Mm, 15 lap old mediums towards the end of the race. Mm, I don't know if that's going to... Mm. I mean, they'll get him to the end of the race, but... Whether he'll be quick at the end, towards the end or not, I'm not too sure. So Maxwell is in a... So if we go gap to leader, let's just find out what he is from the leader. 43 seconds, so yeah, he is still some way off. But, you know, this is under VSC conditions, but let's get up to speed and we'll have another look. It'll be really interesting to see where Maxwell comes out. Is this safe VSC going to stay out? And allow these front runners to pit. Oh, just as they were, just as they're coming around and thinking they might have a chance. 
Which knows across the line it is. Uh, Badoff just still leading the race. And. Shifting rope for his pitting. Which releases Halo and Moly. Five seconds up behind uh, Badoff to second and third. JPP pitting as well, he has done. So these medium runners are looking now to. Uh, they do have a fresh set. Just make use of the uh, the tyres. So Maxwell still hasn't. Yeah, he's still behind JPP. Some way still behind checking Rosary, who's coming round turns three, four, five now. I think this is the uh, closest battle where Molly is now using the DRS. reason this woman is ties off rather than trying to stay in the split screen of Moly, I'm not sure what he's trying to do there. Surely their mediums now are worn enough to pick up decent temperature really quickly. Um, but maybe Halo now just needs to stay behind Moly. Stay within that DRS and build up his EOS. But Molly is nearly a second at. It's nearly a second ahead already. Of, uh, of Halo, so. He's got DRS here, but he might. Coming down to the second. Uh, down to the second sector. He needs to, uh, he needs to have a clean sector one. Just to stay within that DRS zone of, of Moly. If he is looking to save DRS. But, um, but bad bad to really kind of checking out now and from 6.3 ahead. Just stay on board with this one. It's uh, got quite a few gaps now down the field with. People pitting for the final stop. Some maybe stretch to the uh, to go soft at the end. Still from this time last lap is still still around 16, 17%, which you know, is not really not really generating any uh, any battery. Oh, it's still still looking around the 70 people battery uh, so Molly quite comfortable at the moment there running in P2. Although he is losing time to Bad Otter. Was, uh, yeah, he's, I think he's just looking to maybe get the hammer down now. Maybe use a bit of EOS sensibly himself, knowing that he's got a pit again. Halo's had a bit of a poor, poor exit there on the final corner. Again, he's just got to stay close enough to sector one. Just to stay within that DLS range of uh, Foley. Another penalty. Yeah, so there's quite a gap now between the rest of the field going through. Lofty 5.5. It's be interesting to see if he can close the gap somewhat to uh, to Molly and Halo, especially if in a few laps time they do start to uh, to tangle up with each other, slow each other down.
It's down to five. It's a five, five point one seconds now. So, so five point two as Lofty comes over the line. We'll keep an eye on that. And then yeah, there's just steady gaps now between the rest of the field. So it's quite uh, quite spread out. So we'll go back onto on board with Halo then. Into that corner, into that left, uh, into that right hander. Slowing him down, compromising him on the edge of the left hander. Which I think is turn 9 and 10. Um, twice now I've seen him go. He's quite deep into that turn 9. Maybe, I think maybe turn, sorry, 8 and 9. So Halo really rinsing the battery, even though he's, you've got, even though he's in within DRS. And, he is crashing, he's still using that ERS for, for whatever reason he felt necessary. More quite content on 60%. We're well, starting to close the gap now on those uh, traction medium and those who uh, stores on the front. Which thing has been able to uh, to make any sort of ground into uh, into these two meters, into these two hard runners. I mean, we surely got to see bad off in this one to make any use out of it, out of the uh, out of the soft tyres. So it looks like yep, so I've worked and good hit on those things in the four mediums. Goes into mediums. That maybe it's just got no. Um, goes into fresh mediums for the final six laps. And I think the final to wants to wants to be challenged, wants to be up there for the podium. I think he's got to hit this lap and maximise the uh, the soft tyres. Get as much speed off of them as he can. It's fine being two two three seconds quicker, but. It's only going to face three laps, it means, it means nothing. Halo not really making any moves into Molewood. Again, I'm not sure if he's just waiting, hoping that Molewood's going to use the DRS to then make a, a, late, a late kind of move towards the end of the race, but he's not got any back to himself. And we're coming down to turn 12 to be able to really There, getting past the past the T's cap to I'm not sure if we've got a bit of a bad, bad back end again or if it's just a connection. So, so it is this battle for P2, I mean, bad up to again, I think 55, 18, 19 up from the medium is it's gonna be a push. Nobody would be on the safety car with the BSC for a um, period of time, but I can't see those mediums are going to last, and if they do, there's going to have a severe, severe drop off in the gym. Trying to get close for some reason, but without committing to a move. These cuts just dropped out of that one second window. Orphan on the fresh and medium to see if he can catch up to Maxwell. 
to, to this tricky, uh, tricky sector three. Nice. Over half a second just on that third part of sector three alone. I'm Molly, happy and content. We're not really making any inroads. So we'll. The Molly gets a bad exit. I think Halo is just trying to buy his time, just trying to save his ERS for kind of the final couple of laps. Um, oh, he's still there with 50%. Oh, he really wanted to. No, he missed. Halo was avoiding the overtake. If I was Molly, I'd be looking to maybe miss him that box. Before the end, force Halo's hand into using his ERS to stay within the ERS zone. Um, so then he doesn't have anything left on that final one. But Paradox, I think Paradox is trying to try and stick up to the end of these mediums. He's fully committed now, I don't think. Fitted now onto the soft is going to be of any benefit. So, if I'd to play this card, staying out, not the uh, probably check the flag. What is? What is just taking off a second that last lap? That's Halo. That's it. Yeah, he's behind these cars. Yeah, he's, he's using his battery to try and stay within within range of Molly, but it's just not quite anything really to have a go with. A lack of two towards the end. Just going board with Fat Ted. Beating my whole mediums. Remember, Fat Ted did kick under the VFC, but. That front of five off old medium gloves and having any fresh tyres. Ooh, and that's a. Team's cut did well there, not to. Um, not to turn in on Ted. Clean, keep it clean. Oh, I'm not sure if that's just the back end again or. Connection, but Halo has dropped out of. He must have had a moment. Seven tenths now. Behind Molly, he's dropped a lot of time and he's not got the ERS now to uh, to catch back up. Molly has been it's just a little bit. So whether Molly has just decided right the time to the time to go is now. Um, he has gained half a second on Bad Otter as well. So we'll we'll, we'll keep an eye on on Bad Otter and his tyres and I think mainly through the final sector because 17 lap old mediums. I think he might be starting to struggle on a little bit on those. But yeah, so Halo now has just got nothing in the tank now. Unless Molly makes a mistake. I don't think Halo has got the, the raw pace without EOS to... Uh, to mount any sort of... Uh, attack on Molly. Molly is still just under that seven second. Still probably around seven seconds. The bad off the is are still still giving some sort of performance. And Lofty has really caught onto the back now. Halo just one and a half seconds off. All I need 
about who has kept the tyres in the best condition. Lofty, lofty inhale with no battery left. The good watch on the OS left four. Four defence or if he needs to a full bit more of a gap. Required. Oh and loft is round off this round at turn 8 turn 8 and turn 9 pardon me, turn 8 and turn 9 JPP would move up to P4, Halo at the moment is okay in uh, P3, the final podium position. Stars are often not really going to gain much from P7 there with the, uh, the penalties of the guys ahead. Halo's just gained a second somehow on Molly, maybe Molly's ties are feeling the heat. So Halo's flashing away. So they both keep it in a straight line on uh, coming through turn one. But Halo does have that piece second penalty. Maybe Moly knows that and he just thinks, well, if he gets me, he gets me, I just have to stay close. His, um, Otter has done really well, in fairness. So fair play to Otter for, for getting those mediums to, uh, to 18, 19, 20 laps. But... Nineteen lap old mediums. Still showing the pace, but here we go with, uh, with Halo, he's going to... Absolutely everything that goes in the back of it. Don't think it's going to be enough. No, it's just not enough. And Moly, as long as he can keep all four wheels facing the right way. Oh, Chicken Rose will be getting all sorts. Sort of a, a mess, and oh, JPP goes wide. JPP goes wide. Was with the penalty. JPP will turn to four. The battle that does win the the, uh, the circuits of, of the Americas Grand Prix. Molly just went P2 with Halo P3, rounding off the, uh, the podium. Chicken will lose P4 to. Uh, JPP Gaming, Lofty, so that's been towards the end, dropped him down to P6. So I was all just didn't have enough in the tank to, uh, to, to make any, any improvements with, uh, with other penalties, so P6, P7, Max Ball 8, 10, 9, T-Scan P10, and it's going to be close to Saturn to round off the, uh, the Division 3. That was a, uh, you know, I think up until the uh, the final safety call, when people started to uh, to commit to a, a fresh set of tyres towards the uh, the final 10, 12 laps. I think it was uh, it was quite close, but you know the field started to spread out. A few uh, a few tyres were enough toward the end. But uh, I think the penalties didn't really help anyone towards the back to make many uh, to make many moves. So um, I'm not going to do any kind of podium interviews because I barely know how to stream. So I think that will be um, that will be it for me. And I think just to go over the top ten, just for uh, 
just for the admins. So Bad Otter wins the race, wins the wins the American Grand Prix. Molly and Halo finishing off the of the podium positions. Then you've got JPP in fourth, Chicken Rosary gaining five positions in fifth. Lofty sixth. Like I say, that spin towards the end didn't really help. He was on for a solid P4. Um, Stars Orphan in seventh, Maxwell in eighth, Ted in ninth, T's Cat eleventh, and Husky rounding up the uh, the final runners in P11. And then you got Danny D Hickling and Josh with the um, unfortunate D DSQ for I think overtaking under the safety car as he came into the pits. Um, who was running 